Now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we had a few little spotty showers this evening, and there's still a few more out there kind of coming up from the sap. But I think overnight we may actually see redevelopment of a few more scattered showers and storms down here in downstate Illinois, and those could affect the area overnight. In the meantime, most of the viewing area is in good shape. This is ground clutter at Indianapolis. Those are false returns, but this is some rainfall and some shower action south of here that's kind of working its way north and northeastward. So overnight, and even into tomorrow, there will be a scattering of showers and a few thunderstorms around. 66, though, uh, with areas of fog in the morning, and then it warms up to 81 for the high tomorrow afternoon. Kind of a muggy day. Dew points up are 60s to right around 70, and even tomorrow night at 11, 70 degrees. So after some of this scattered shower and thunderstorm action, overnight and tomorrow, we get a break Friday, and we watch two what we call jet streaks. We talked about this at uh, five and six. Uh, they are cores of really strong winds up in the atmosphere. And what they do is uh, cause rising air motion. They cause storms to organize really well. They're real triggers for severe weather. There's one here. You can see the clouds kind of fanning apart. One in the Rockies. That's going to spin up a pretty strong area, low pressure out here in Wyoming that'll head up towards Iowa. Pop a big severe weather outbreak west of here on Friday. There's another one kind of diving in off the Pacific. You can see represented by some of these clouds here, and that will re-intensify a line of storms for our area by Saturday. So after any scattered rainfall tonight, tomorrow, it's going to be a dry and near record warm Friday, and then a potential line of storms, most likely late afternoon and in the evening on Saturday. Tonight we're in the 60s. The, the temp won't change much from where it is right now with the areas of fog around, at least scattered rainfall. Uh, 63 uh, Logansport, 66 Lafayette Romney, 67 Pine Village. Tomorrow upper 70s to low 80s area wide from the 79 at Logansport to the 80 at Attica and Pine Village and dry, breezy to windy, mostly sunny, much warmer and humid Friday with highs in the 80s, even 88 at Morocco and 86 at Lafayette. So overnight, notice how high risk future cast does indicate the redevelopment, at least some scattered showers and storms. And even tomorrow morning at 10, we'll have a few around, a few around into tomorrow afternoon. But then tomorrow night, everything moves north. And other than patchy fog, we dry out. And even Friday, it's dry. After any patchy fog in the morning burns off, it's going to be kind of a mostly sunny, hazy day with the very warm weather. And then we watch the severe threat west of here Friday. And then Saturday, perhaps a line of storms coming in from the west with a wind threat. So there's your severe zone Friday. There's your severe, uh, severe zone on Saturday. And then it cools off behind that much cooler Sunday. But low pressure and a cold front will combine to bring some rainfall in next week. And then our first frost of the season. 61 after 86 on Friday. That's 61 to be on Sunday. 68 Tuesday, 72 Wednesday. Then some rain comes in on Thursday for the feast. Looks like that line of storms will be late afternoon, evening, and then it's in and it's out, and Sunday will be dry. And but much cooler. So but much cooler. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, right. Chad. Well, sure. I we started off the show.